Welcome to the first edition of Right Now with Mr. Tie-Dye. One of my goals for 2019 was to do more instructional videos, and this series came to mind. Uh, there's times where I get inspired to create something, and I decided that if I have the, the time and the moment, I'm going to jump on and do a quick live video, and that will be my Right Now with Mr. Tie-Dye. So today's design was inspired by Mona over on one of the tie-dye pages. Uh, she was wanting to know how to tie-dye a bow tie. And she blew up Google searching for how to tie a bow tie tie-dye t-shirt. And Google was completely confused. So I decided to jump on real quick and make a video. So with no further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's see if I can see if I can see myself. So to start with, I have a t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash. It's been spun out, so it's just barely damp. And then I've centered the t-shirt here, put a line down the middle here. And then the other thing I've done is cut out my template for a bow tie. So I cut just half of it. And now I'm tossing it around. And what I'm going to do is put this right underneath the collar here. So I'm probably within a quarter inch of the collar and I also put a little center dot so I can kind of center up my bow tie there so I guess to start with we're going to draw our bigger line here so once you get your bow tie positioned where you want it then I put a straight edge on there right at the bottom and draw a little line across there then I can pick that up and fold the t-shirt. Oh, I guess I need to draw the bow tie. So I'm using washable markers. So what I'm gonna do is draw this on there. And then we're going to fold this up. So, I'm going to pick up just the front of the t-shirt right along this line here. You can pinch just the front, fold that in half. Once you get that smoothed out just right where you want it. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. One more thing I like to do when I'm doing the, the bow tie on a t-shirt is just kind of give it a little bit of... Uh, tuxedo look. So what I'm going to do is come out from the collar just a little bit here and then a little bit more and then I'm going to draw a line down just to give me a little bit of a V here. And I try to make it far enough away from the bow tie that I'm going to have space to draw this out or fold that up. So now we'll go back to folding the bow tie Oh, and it looks like I have a few people joining. Hello, hello. Welcome to my new series. We'll be doing more of these. I'll just be picking ideas out of my inspiration or off the tie-dye pages or in messages. If I feel inspired to tie a design right in the moment and I have a little bit of time, I'm going to do that. The other thing I want to do with my YouTube videos is I'm going to be doing more scheduled live videos and those I'm going to try and post further in advance so that you can log in but there'll be some lucky people that get in on the right now with Mr. Die Die. So thank you for joining me. So what I'm doing is just accordion folding this. It's a little bit detailed. You can make a bigger bow tie to make the folding a little bit easier. But if you're just very precise and get those lines lined up there all the way across, then you can tie off that bow tie. Let's see. Yes, lots more live videos. Well, as many as I can. I still have to pay bills. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so now we got to the middle of the bow tie. So we just keep working our way all the way across there and just keep manipulating the fabric around so that you can try to keep that bow tie as straight as possible up on the top there. So I'm just doing little tiny, there may be a little bit bigger than a quarter inch. That's a little bit small for an accordion fold, but we're not going that far. Sorry, I gotta put this on the table. I can't hold it and keep everything folded in there. And hopefully I'll have a, a new camera that I can live stream with. The video camera that I bought for some reason it's not set up to live stream so I use my iPad for this and with the iPad I can't do any of the fancy zooming or anything so I'm just continuing to tie that bow tie there all right so we're getting closer here and all of my folds aren't perfectly lined up but you can go back and straighten them here before you tie that. So there's my bow tie. And I'm going to tie this up with the kite string. And I'm going to start just a little bit above the line. I just want to make sure that I'm holding that in place. So I'm going to tie that a little, or wrap that a little bit tight there. And then I'm going to wrap right on the line. I wrap that a couple times and just cinch that down a little bit tight. And now I'm going to wrap up the bow tie out here just to tie that, keep that contained. So I just wrap a little bit loosely, just pull a little bit of the slack out. And then I'll wrap back out here again. And I'm going to wrap just a little bit further up again. I just like to make sure I have enough space. So as I'm pulling to do that V I drew on, I don't want to pull my bow tie out. So that's why I like to go up, tie plenty further above my line here. That's just what works really good for me. So we'll tie that off and then we're going to fold the rest of the shirt. And yes, Esther, this here will be, uh, when I'm done with this live video, YouTube will process it and put it up automatically. So this video will be up uh, probably within a half hour of me finishing this live stream. That's the one downfall of doing a live video is I can't put the results in at the end. So for live videos, what I'll do is once I've washed the t-shirt out later, I will post it up as the thumbnail for the video but I will also put a link in the description over to my Facebook page so that you can click and get a, a decent look of how it turned out. So now what I'm doing, I have this little bit of a fold here. This here, the little V shape is just kind of a, a fancy fold, makes it kind of look like a little bit of a tuxedo shirt. So I'm gonna fold that up. And this here is just a little bit difficult because after we folded the bow tie up in the middle, this doesn't want to line up perfectly. So you just got to kind of work your folds out underneath there and then fold up the best you can. It's not going to be a nice straight V, but it'll at least be a little bit of a V shape on right underneath the tie. And if you want a, a more precise one, then you can stitch it, which is what I've done in the past. And then I add more details in to make it look like a tuxedo shirt. And it just takes working the fabric around. Sometimes I spend a lot of time just getting the fabric to lay just where I want it to. Uh, as far as a Mandela, since those are so thick, once you're done folding uh, the Mandela up, so many layers in there, I typically will do a one Mandela on the front and then I'll fold the, the back separately. So I have tied it up and folded where I have a Mandela, the same one front and back, but it's just more difficult to, to dye it that way and get good saturation. So 
I do have a video for folding up uh, two different designs on the front and the back. I can post that link in here also. I think I did a heart and a Mandela. Uh, so that's something that you can do. It's just a matter of separating the shirt out and you have the front pulled forward and the back pulled back and then you're just basically dying one on each side there. So now for the rest of the shirt here, I'm just going to scrunch it up, but you can fold it and tie it however you like. Um, I tuck both sleeves in together here. That just makes it easier for me to dye the sleeves. And then I kind of just scrunch them up right here in their own little armhole. And then we're just gonna scrunch the rest of this. Well, it's just going to take, I have somebody, they are doing Mandela's and their stuff keeps looking like blobs. Um, it's going to be a matter of just practicing your ties. Sometimes, depending on the quality of the fabric, uh, the the dye isn't going to set the same as it would on a, on a t-shirt. So sometimes you have to practice on the thing you want to do your design on. So you might have to practice it. I'm not saying every one, but now and then you have to break out a t-shirt and try that because the dye is going to flow differently on all different types of cotton. So break out a t-shirt and try a fold on there once and maybe try it on just one side to start with rather than try and work on both sides until you kind of get that down and then step up and do the double. I think we're about ready to put some dye on this bow tie. So let me put some gloves on. And for this, I the little tiny folding, I can't do that with gloves. So what I'm going to do is wash my hands really good to get the soda ash off later. But we'll put gloves on for the dye. What I'm going to do is outline my bow tie with the thick black dye, just because I like to outline my designs. So, let's see here. I'm just going to put right along that line there. And I didn't go perfectly straight, so I'm just going to kind of follow where my line was here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'll come over, down, back up again. And then the thick black dye, I like to push it in just a little bit more because it doesn't want to soak in quite as much. So I push that in. This is just a cuticle pusher. You find it in the, like the nail polish aisle. That's a wonderful tool. I find some tools at um, Home Depot also. But sometimes it's just a matter of figuring out what you need to do and then what tool is going to work best. All right, so now we're going to do a blue bow tie. I'll tap some of that in there to move that die around. And now I'm going to take this V area. I'm going to dye it in a different color here. Let's see what I have. That's my dark green. Where is this? Dark green. Okay. Well, I can't find color that I want. Uh -huh. Well, 
I'll let this go with a blue outline. So what I'm going to do is dye this part in blue. And this here is that V shape that I made. And this is just going to separate that bow tie out. And then I'm going to dye the rest of the shirt in some other darker colors. And then, like I say, after I wash this in a couple days, then I will post this picture up as the thumbnail for the video, and I will put a link. Uh, <laughs> nope, I always manage to keep my beard out of the way. If it's starting to get too close, I'll pick it up and tuck it in my shirt. All right, so now we're going to dye the rest of the shirt in black and gray. So I'm going to put some gray down to start with, just so we have some texture down in there in the t-shirt. I like to layer colors. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go through really quick, dye the